view store from ecosystem. I posted about this um, two days ago. Uh, I think this is pretty important um, explanatory blog post because view store from is no longer a single product. Well, our goal is very ambitious, so we would like to be a standard for e-commerce frontend and being this standard for e-commerce frontend, we need to fulfill many different needs of our users. Um, there is like no single you know, segment of users using the software. They are using it with different platforms, different needs, using some APIs or just having the, the UI library. So everything started two years ago with View Storefront. Um, so View Storefront 1, as we call it, which is uh, the best option for PWA for Magento 1 or Magento 2 right now. Uh, it's very actively developed. Uh, we are releasing Capybara team based on Surfing UI. I will stay, tell more on this uh, later on. So uh, this is the announcement we like to share today. Uh, then we created Surfing Cloud. Surfing Cloud was released in 2018. Uh, it's a hosting platform, it's cloud platform. We call it Frontend as a Service. Um, this is a platform where you can very easily run your stuff and it's very optimized, very scalable using Amazon uh, AWS services, CDN, uh, GAO distribution. Everything needed to, to run a scalable view store from. Uh, we are investing into this product a lot. Um, this year we will release some really cool features including GitHub preview um, for pull requests and, and so on. Then Surf and UI. Surf and UI, like I, I, I put those products historically as they were created. So Surf and UI was created uh, last year. We started uh, February. The plan was to create just a better team for View Surf Room, but then very quickly this project, project evolved into a design system based on Google Retail Playbook. Um, very optimized for UX and both uh, UX and developer experience. Uh, recently, like last time, we, 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 we told you more on Surf and UI. Today, we don't have any major updates, but Philip will share some news some mm -hmm. uh, with the View Store for Next uh, part of this presentation. View Store for Next, uh, many of you are asking us about well, what View Store for Next is. It's our R&D stream, so it's totally different architecture than View Store for uh, There is no upgrade path from View Store for uh, some of you are asking uh, if I should wait for Vistor for next or use uh, current version of Vistor for. The answer is if you are on Magento 1 or 2, Vistor for 1, the current Vistor for is the ultimate choice for you. We are uh, keeping it up to date. Patrick will share some news on the roadmap for Vistor for. And next is just R&D as for now. So we are doing the integration with different platforms. Uh, we are having this totally new architecture. <coughs> Um, the answer is if you have third-party uh, integration to, to be done or some uh, platform that is not already integrated with the storefront, probably Next is a good choice because it's, it will let you to integrate it more, more easily, more optimal way than the storefront. <clears throat> then we have Shopware PWA, a very interesting project. Um, another Patrick is, is, is a project leader for, for this uh, stream and we will share some updates in, in a couple of minutes. Uh, Shopper PWA is actually the first implementation on View Store for Next architecture integrated with Shopware. This project is uh, being developed in very close cooperation with Shopware uh, itself, the Shopware company. So uh, I can say it's, it's really well um, optimized and integrated with Shopware 6. This is a very exciting platform itself. And then the, the last product line, which is Store for API. It's, um, I would say, the next version of View Storefront API. So we invested a lot into GraphQL, and Storefront API is meant to uh, replace View Storefront API in the next couple of months, probably around 1.13 mm -hmm. version of View Storefront. Um, so I, I guess that's it. Um, I wanted just to you know, revise my, my blog post here because it's very important for us to keep you all up to date with what we are doing, what we are working on. It's not a single thing, uh, it's uh, six or even seven projects we are working on right now. So we are you know, really committed to, to make all those projects successful. And let's go into uh, next slide, which is showing you the, uh, I would say, the uh, relationships between the, the products we are working on. 
So our idea was to have this <coughs> UI design system, which is stored from UI, set of Vue.js, and uh, shortly React.js components for e-commerce. That is uh, to be used with all the, the product lines we have. So today we are releasing Capybara team, which is stored from UI implementation for Vue Store from One. You can use it with Vue Store from 1.11 without any additional changes. Uh, View Storefront is fully compatible with Storefront API, so this is uh, the, the, this logo you have here uh, showing that we are we are using this product with View Storefront one. Uh, then we have View Storefront Next, uh, currently integrated with commerce tools about View Cloud and some other platforms to to to, to be announced shortly, and Shopware PWA. Those two projects are based on View Storefront Next architecture, also using Storefront UI. There is no additional API middleware, so they are integrated directly with the platforms. But as you can see, the very cool part of this whole you know, puzzle is that all those projects based on the single developer experience, front-end developer experience. So the, the front-end part is exactly the same, which all of those projects. The only things that the difference is the um, integration experience, the API experience is optimized to the platforms we, we, are, uh, we are integrating. And yeah, I, I guess it would be uh, pretty something. So it would be more like ecosystem than single product.